simply, uh, this is what we consider the U-tube or 180 degree um, redirectional tube. This takes the flow from the, the jet. The propulsion comes through this um, forged collar and directs it into our hose. The connection is very simple. This is a 2013 model, so it has the quick connect um, system on here. There is a pin, an index pin, that you can lock in the open position. Once you're in place, you just give it a, a half turn and it locks in. These uh, bolts, these just get placed into the adapter on the, on the jet ski, whether it's SeaDoo, Kawasaki, Yamaha. Uh, they have plates that retrofit each different unit. So to connect, you line up the four bolts in the large openings and you give it about a quarter to a half inch turn. It's actually a half inch turn to the right. Turn your rotate your pin halfway and it's locked in place. Okay, once your directional tube is mounted, you want to be very careful when you're launching and uh, recovering the sea dew or the jet ski from the water because this now will be hanging below the boat. So if you have a very uh, rough road or a difficult launch, you want to be very mindful not to break this. Um, also, prior to launching the boat, we're going to keep our hose securely fastened on the back and we'll connect the flyboard at the dock or at the location that you're going to flyboard from. This just makes connection very easy. You don't have to do it in the water, you can do it in the land. Okay, one of the other connections that have to be made before we can start flyboarding is we're launched now and we want to make a connection of our hose to the front or the bow of the jet ski using this lanyard, this carabiner. And it's going to connect very simply into the bow cleat. What we want to do is we want to make sure that we've taken the slack out of this hose too so that it stays fairly close to the hull. This will allow the flyboarder to pull the jet ski forward. The operator of the jet ski will also be able to be uh, keeping a clear eye on the flyboarder.